with exit 11 and Gen 1. These five have broken clear of Wild Caprice and Lucky Ranger, racing for the final flight, and it's Joshua Webb and Grange Clare Native. These two come to the final flight, matching strides. There's nothing between them in third place, and staying on as Gen 1. Inside the final 150 yards, it's Joshua Webb and Grange Clare Native as they go towards the line. Joshua Webb on the far side will get the ball rolling for the local team of Sean Flanagan, Noel Mead, Grange Clare Native second. Third is Gen 1, they're well clear of the fourth. With exit 11 and Gen 1, these five have broken clear of Wild Caprice and Lucky Ranger, racing for the final flight, and it's Joshua Webb and Grange Clare Native. These two come to the final flight, matching strides. There's nothing between them in third place, and staying on as Gen 1. Inside the final 150 yards, it's Joshua Webb and Grange Clare Native as they go towards the line. Joshua Webb on the far side will get the ball rolling for the local team of Sean Fanning and Noel Mead, Grange Clare Native second. Third is Gen 1. On their well clear of the fourth. On the inside is N'Golo as they race for the final flight. In the Faroxian Novice Hurdle, it's one down with coming to challenge. Annexation on the near side. Esky Lane is struggling in behind them at the final flight and Annexation leads. From one down, N'Golo is battling his way back into it on the near side. It's Annexation with on the near side, N'Golo. And N'Golo, the toughest horse around, has dug in to beat Annexation and wide receiver in the Faroxian Novice Hurdle. N'Golo tops up a previous win. On the inside is N'Golo as they race for the final flight. In the Faroxian Novice Hurdle, it's one down with coming to challenge. Annexation on the near side. Esky Lane is struggling in behind them at the final flight and Annexation leads. From one down, N'Golo is battling his way back into it on the near side. It's Annexation with on the near side, N'Golo. And N'Golo, the toughest horse around, has dug in to beat Annexation and wide receiver in the Faroxian Novice Hurdle. N'Golo tops up a previous win. A follow was cracking smart, racing towards the final flight in the Liz Mullen hurdle and it's French Dynamite from Sard de Berle, who has reserves, and we know that, he's a good stare. And gone is Ronald Pump, it's French Dynamite with challenging Sard de Berle, six shooters in third, and Sard de Berle on the near side is gaining the upper hand in the Liz Mullen hurdle and makes a winning return. Sard de Berle beat French Dynamite with in third place six shooter. And up, up and walking. A follower was cracking smart, racing towards the final flight in the Liz Mullen hurdle and it's French Dynamite from Sard de Berle, who has reserves, and we know that he's a good stare. And gone is Ronald Pump, it's French Dynamite with challenging Sard de Berle, six shooters in third. And Sard de Berle on the near side is gaining the upper hand in the Liz Mullen hurdle and makes a winning return. Sard de Berle beat French Dynamite with in third place six shooter and up, up and walking over. who's made rapid ground the last half mile as they jump the second last, a bad mistake by Discordantly. Great recovery by Paddy Kennedy, but it's the jam man who has sloosed through the field under Paul Townend in the Ladbrokes Troy Town handicap chase. The jam man has gone well clear at the final fence. The jam man over the last from Roaring Bull and then Discordantly being followed by Scormar, but it's a runaway winner of the 2020 Ladbrokes Troy Town. The jam man and Paul Townend for owner trainer Ronan McNally. What an exceptional run of it he's having. Second roaring bull and then Scormar being followed home by Discordly Mormon Cooldine Bog. Dead Judy Forza the Milan and Sheb de Curvin you next who's made rapid ground the last half mile as they jump the second last, a bad mistake by Discordantly. Great recovery by Paddy Kennedy, but it's the jam man who has sloosed through the field under Paul Townend in the Ladbrokes Troy Town handicap chase. The jam man has gone well clear at the final fence. The jam man over the last from Roaring Bull and then Discordantly being followed by Scormar, but it's a runaway winner of the 2020 Ladbrokes Troy Town. The jam man 
Ronan Paul Townend, Verona trainer Ronan McNally. What an exceptional run of it he's having. Second roaring bull and then Scormar being followed home by discordantly Mormon Cooldine Bog. Dead Judy Fors the Milan and Sheb de Curvin you next. And Mark Walsh in third, the three have left the other pair. Coming to the final fence, and it's Castle Grace Paddy in front from Aplutar. In third is Eclair de Bofu, the final fence coming up in the tote for three, and Aplutar has been asked now to go about the race from a battling Castle Grace Paddy. It's a scramble up the hill. Castle Grace Paddy and Aplutar as they go towards the line, and it is Castle Grace Paddy. This is not a lucky race for Aplutar. Second again, well cleared of Kildorian or no. Uh, Eclair de Beaufau was a final fence faller. Up is Mark Walsh, not so his partner. And Mark Walsh in third, the three have left the other pair. Coming to the final fence, and it's Castle Grace Paddy in front from Aplutar. In third is Eclair de Beaufau, the final fence coming up. In the tote for three, and Aplutar has been asked now to go about the race from a battling Castle Grace Paddy. It's a scramble up the hill. Castle Grace Paddy and Aplutar as they go towards the line, and it is Castle Grace Paddy. This is not a lucky race for Aplutar. Second again, well cleared of Kildorian or no. Uh, Eclair de Beaufau was a final fence faller. Up is Mark Walsh, not so his partner. Easy work on the stand side. Over on the far side is embittered. Embittered is over in front. From easy work, the pair have gone clear. Of in third place is Lemuzini being followed by Port Stanley. One fence left to jump. And it's embittered. Rachel Blackmore has gone for the whip. Easy work on the near side. It's the Jiggenstown duo to the final fence. And it's easy work lifting off just in front from embittered. Well cleared of Port Stanley and up the hill towards the finish. It is easy work stretching on a smart hurdle in his day, will score first time over fences, second and bitter, a good run by that one, third Port Stanley, and then you jump the last, you win. Easy work on the stand side. Over on the far side is embittered. Embittered is over in front. From easy work, the pair have gone clear. Of in third place is Lemuzini being followed by Port Stanley. One fence left to jump. And it's embittered. Rachel Blackmore has gone for the whip. Easy work on the near side. It's the Jiggenstown duo to the final fence. And it's easy work lifting off just in front from embittered. Well cleared of Port Stanley and up the hill towards the finish. It is easy work stretching on. A smart hurdler in his day will score first time over fences second and bitter a good run by that one third port stanley and then you jump the last you win And above the city stays on on the outside as they come away from the second last. And Pike County is coming there tanking, tanking up to curious times. By the same token and Wolf of All Streets, then above the city, Elite Trooper Gray. And with his late trademark appearance, Young Ned of the Hill, Pike County is a faller. And now that leaves the door open for Young Ned of the Hill above the city. By the same token, curious times. And up to the finish, it's Young Ned of the Hill and Connor McNamara left clear by a five Five lengths or so. Second goes to Elite Trooper Gray and then above the city and by the same token and glancing back to the final flight up both and above the city stays on on the outside as they come away from the second last and Pike County is coming there tanking, tanking up to curious times by the same token and Wolf of All Streets then above the city Elite Trooper Gray and with his late trademark appearance Young Ned of the Hill, Pike County is a faller and now that leaves the door open for Young Ned of the Hill above the city by the same token curious times and up to the finish it's Young Ned of the Hill and Connor McNamara left clear by a Five lengths or so. Second goes to Elite Trooper Gray and then above the city and by the same token and glancing back to the final flight up both. From room to room, over on the fall of ground, in between horses is 
trying to challenge has walked me home with presenting Megan, still making good work as they come down to the final flight. King Alex from Walk Me Home and presenting Megan on the far side. As they approach the final flight, it's King Alex with a narrow advantage from Walk Me Home and presenting Megan. And Walk Me Home's blundered. Rider Mark Walsh, it's not his been his day. And it's King Alex left clear from presenting Megan. Where are you now in the white volcano? And at the finish, it's King Alex winning again from presenting Megan. Where are you now? And fourth will be the white volcano from room to Rome over on the fall of ground in between horses is trying to challenge is Walk Me Home with presenting Megan, still making good work as they come down to the final flight. King Alex from Walk Me Home and presenting Megan on the far side. As they approach the final flight, it's King Alex with a narrow advantage from Walk Me Home and presenting Megan. And Walk Me Home's blundered. Rider Mark Walsh, it's not his been his day. And it's King Alex left clear from presenting Megan. Where are you now in the white volcano? And at the finish, it's King Alex winning again from presenting Megan. Where are you now? And and fourth will be the White Volcano.